Hey there, that's gonna be $14.92. Oh, uh, yeah. Mom, I need 20 bucks. Make sure you tip him well. There you go. Thank you, and here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? I ain't gonna lie, that's one thing that I need to try, bro. Pineapple on pizza, bro. Because there's a lot of people that say, oh, pineapples on one pizza, pineapple. I just need to try, bro. I just need to try for myself just to see how it tastes, you feel me? Because I don't know, man. Everybody got their own opinion on it, so I just need to try it, bro. I asked for pepperoni. I, I, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple, or I could also go back to the store? I'm not gonna do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely. I'm just gonna need to. You guys like pineapple? <laughs> yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is gonna make me pay for it if I don't. Take another slice before I give it back. What? Here. And bro, people like this make me so mad, bro. I promise you. I can't stand people like this, dog. Like, customers like him, y'all just don't understand, bro. Hurry up. I'm starving. For sure. I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry about... Did you leave him a nice tip? No, I didn't even pay him. The moron put pineapple on my pizza. I told him to get me a new one. Okay, Derek, we don't call people that. What? He's a delivery driver. I mean, how hard is it to get a simple order right? You know, most jobs are harder than they look. Ooh, you would know if- Hey man, hey man to that. First of all, you need to teach your kids some manners. All right, real talk. You need to teach them some manners. Bro, need to really chill out because, man, look, oh, man, he go, he go talk to the wrong person one day. He go talk to the wrong delivery driver. But, dog, that is so true, bro. Because a lot of people never worked at a fast food restaurant. It's not easy that people make it sound, bro. Like, if y'all, I used to work at Burger King. And let me tell y'all something. Y'all, y'all customers, I know some of y'all eat at Burger King. Look, y'all need to chill out, bro. Like, it's it's not easy. Like, it's not as easy as y'all think, bro. Y'all think it's just, oh, making a sandwich, sign No, bro. It's not, no, no. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Boy, that job is, it's not hard, but it's not easy. Like, people think it's just so easy, bro, and it's really not. Like, some jobs are really harder than what it looks like. But some people never worked a nine to five, so they would never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if you never worked at a fast food restaurant, you definitely would not know, bro. Like, oh, jeez. It's the most stressful. I, I said I would never do fast food again. Most stressful job ever, bro. I would never do fast food again. I promise you that. If you ever had one. <laughs> Whatever. Besides, it probably wasn't even his fault. I don't care. All I know is he better get it right this time. <sighs> Man, I can't believe your mom's gonna give you a Beamer for your birthday. Yep, we already ordered it. I got the metallic blue, just like that pick. Finally. About time. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I was running a little bit late because I had a pothole on the way over here. Spare me the details. At least you got it right this time. Great, um, that'll be 14.90. This pizza's frozen cold. I'm not paying for this. Look, I'm really sorry, all right? I got a flat on the way over here and I had to run with my bike. You know what, since it's my fault, I don't mind paying for it. But you could keep it and just maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. I don't care if it's free. Hurry up and get me a hot one before I call your manager and complain. Of course, yeah. Why are you like this? Bro, like, this is, bro. This man makes me mad, bro, and I don't, dog. Spare this man, bro, just spare him. He got, a, he got a flat tire on the way over here. The man's is on a bike trying to make a little bit of chunk change. He probably ain't make it that much. And you want to be a butthole. Like, jeez, oh, bro. I'll be back as soon as possible. I can't believe that guy. What'd I miss? He's about to face off against Rhino. Let's go. Suns in six? No way. Not unless Devin Booker actually learns how to play defense. Finally. Hi, so I double checked and I made sure it's pepperoni. Also, I, I, I took an Uber on the way over here to make sure that uh, it's nice and warm. Let me see. Yeah. 
You jit me. What do you mean? Each slice usually has three pepperonis on it. This one only has two. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> At this point, ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. We got square up now, boy. We got. Uh, uh, you. Uh, ooh. See? You see what I'm saying? Like, I just man, look. I just ripped my pants. Yeah. You see this? See this? Is what I get? You know? But at this point, bro, man, we gotta fight. <laughs> we gotta fight, cause ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. You complaining about every little thing. Oh, the pizza was cold. Oh, boy, it's called microwave that thing up. Like, I used to hate when people come to Burger King. Oh, my food was cold. First of all, your food wasn't cold because it's a heater. We got a whole thing of the heater. I think that's like on 100 or some degrees, and it heats up all the food. So when y'all say y'all want y'all food fresh, let me give you a little tip. Don't ask for your food fresh. Whatever we give you, that's what we give you. If you put it back, we throw that thing in the microwave. I don't work that no more, so I can expose. But it's just a simple thing, like, you complain about every little thing, bruh. Now your pepperoni ain't got... <sighs> Jeez, bro. Oh, uh, I'm sure that just varies from pizza to pizza, and they would never intentionally do that. You sure you didn't eat my pepperoni? No, I, I would never. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, I guess. There's 20. Thanks. How much change would you like? I'll take five back. But the total comes out to be 14.92. I know what the total is. You should feel lucky you're getting any tip at all with how bad your service is. You're right. I'm really sorry about it. Did you just slam the door in that boy's face? Uh, yeah, but he deserved it. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Especially after he worked so hard to get your pizza right. Well, if he would have just done it right the first time, he wouldn't have to keep coming back. <sighs> you know what's crazy? This is why rich people would really, like, I don't know, bro. It's something about being rich that just, not all rich people, because there's some really generous rich people out there that got the money and that, that loves taking care of others and love sharing their, sharing their, um, Things with others and stuff like that, but this Pacific rich kid right here, bro, is the most disrespectful, bitter person I have ever heard or met. Not, I didn't even meet him, but ever heard in my life, bro. This man, but well, he just got it right the first time. Well, he didn't do it. No, 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 no. Shut up, like, oh, like, bro, dog. This man worked so hard to get your piece of right. You can't give him a tip, bro. He got. You would never know because you're rich. You you fortunate, so working a nine to five for you, you working a nine to five ain't never gonna happen because your parents is rich. Your parents, not you, your parents. Cause if you was rich, you wouldn't have to ask your mom, can you get a twenty dollar bill to pay for the pizza? Like come on, bruh. You see that's what your problem You need to humble yourself. Miss. What are you talking about? You think everything is so easy because you've never had to work hard for any your stuff, little mama. Anything. Mom, my friends are here. Can we just talk about this later? No, I think they should hear this. Well, you're sitting here watching TV all summer and complaining about how many slices of pepperoni are on each pizza slice. That boy is out there working hard. It's real easy for you to ask me for money but it's a whole lot harder when you have to earn it yourself. Maybe you should get a job delivering pizzas so you can see how it is. <laughs> yeah, like that would ever happen. Oh. I am serious. You don't know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. Facts! It's real funny, Mom. Anyway, Back to the game? No. It's either that, or I take away your PS5, I take away your allowance, and you won't be getting a car for your birthday. You can't do that. We already ordered it. Well, I will just call the dealership and tell them I changed my mind. So, what's it going to be? You can't lose that car, bro. Yeah, you're getting a Beamer. That's, like, insane. 
Just do whatever she says. Fine. I'll get a job for a month, but that's it. <laughs> we'll see if you even last a week. Derek reluctantly agrees to get his first job. A few days later, he starts working at a local restaurant. His first assignment is to deliver pizzas. Things seem to be going fine in the beginning. That is, until he starts to deal with rude customers. They get like himself. Get upset about him getting the pizza wrong how long it took to deliver, or bringing cold food. Even though none of it was Derek's fault, Derek finally understands how difficult it is to have a job. Hey, honey. How was work? It was all right. I just got home. Aw. I have to say, I am surprised at how long you've lasted. You hungry? I'll fix you some supper. That's all right. I ordered us food. I got enough for both of us. Okay, great. Uh, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. Wow. Hey, I got your uh, large pepperoni pizza. And don't worry, I double checked it this time, so. This has pineapple on it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a 20. Keep the change. Uh, <laughs> really? There we go. See, that, that's what I'm talking about, boy. That's my... See, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's all it takes, bro. Because not a lot of people understand how hard it is to work a 9 to 5. Uh, well, not even 9 to 5, but just working fast food, bro. Fast food is one of the worst things that you could ever work in life. Uh, I'm sorry. I have only had two jobs throughout my life. I'm working at my second job. But when I used to work at fast food, dog, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It was That job was terrible. Like, I told myself I would never do a fast food job again, bro. Ever again. Ever. That stuff, nah. I know how hard your job is. I felt really bad about the last time. Sorry about that. Thanks. Really means a lot. Have a great one. Like, I don't even know who this new Derek is anymore. Thanks, Mom. Now, let's eat. Oh, and I was thinking. Don't tell me you don't want the Beamer anymore. Now you're going way too far. I was just thinking maybe black instead. Oh, yeah. I think black would be nice. <laughs> hey, hey, so you were about to do a TikTok? Watching little inspirational videos like that, bro. It show you to be generous for whatever you got, bro. Give out your last, give people tips, bro. Because man, you don't understand nine to fives, bro. Some people are getting paid like seven dollars an hour, or nine dollars an hour, bro. So it's just like you know, give them a little tip, man. They got bills too. They got bills to pay too. They human just like you. So just you know, what I'm saying, be generous. Give them a little, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Spin your boy the pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.